So you know what? To talk a little bit, <laughs> that, tell me that's not the greatest photo in the history of the universe too, right? But anyways, talk a little bit more about the Jets. Talk about Sexy Rexy's comments and a little bit more, especially the hurricane too. We got to bring in Deb Borges, Little Miss Jet on Twitter. Uh, the, the one guy I kind of just want you to talk about uh, is old Plaxico Burris. I mean, obviously him, this is kind of, it's a little bittersweet for him because obviously with a new team coming out of jail with the Jets and he's playing his old team, the Giants, which hasn't been his team for a little while, but it is the last team he played for. Plaxico looking pretty good in the last game. I mean, that game, everybody's talking about the catch he made. The guy clearly still has the athleticism. Talk, yeah. about, talk about Plaxico. What do you make of this guy? You know, when we signed him, I thought it was a great idea. Um, of course, there were those doubts. You know, you haven't seen him play. He's been talking up his game so much in his shape. Saw him at camp. He looked good. Um, but limited reps at camp. You know, he had some injuries that we were being very careful about. We, as if I had that decision making. <laughs> but I just seen him. I was at the Bengals game, and um, it really looked like him and Mark had been working together a lot longer than they have. That over-the-shoulder catch was just what Plaxico does. Um, now, of course, there's still injury concerns. What do you make of uh, your QB, Pretty Boy, there, who is also making GQ covers, just like just like our guy Brady? I mean, tell me about him. I, I need to know your opinion. <laughs> I come up because the minute I saw him in GQ, I'm like, great! All the Patriots people are going to be like, oh, you guys make fun of Tom Brady for being a pretty boy. The difference is, Mark Sanchez did not pose with goats. Or that's not up to the. That's that not day. up to Mark <laughs> Sanchez. That's oh, not shoot. up to Mark Tom Brady. <laughs> I mean, honestly, did you think Tom said, hey, this is a good idea. I've got an idea, guys. I know you're GQ, but you know what? I've got this goat hanging around. Let me hold this and let me look into you with my goat. That's I don't think that's what happened. Putting up right now is Tom Grady holding his goat. So at least Mark was in a football shoe, but in other But things. he's blowing <laughs> bubbles. I saw the picture of him inside of the, uh, I mean, look at that. Look, right, yeah, yeah. A, Clearly he's a New Yorker and, you know, got that big, deep V-neck showing off the chesticles. Howard B is Broadway Joe already, you know? Look at him. It's great. No goats. We're happy about that. Moving on. I think <laughs> this is Mark's year to really show his maturity. I mean, uh, year three, we really need to continue to see that growth. He's really taken a great leadership role this year. Um, he has all the weapons on the field he needs. Um, just seeing San Antonio... Plaxico, and we're going to have Derek Mason out there. Um, you know, if he can keep his accuracy up, you know, his completion rating to his passer rating to go up a little bit. Um, when you look at it last year, it doesn't really give you a clear indication of what he was doing. Um, you know, we want some home playoff games this year. <laughs> <laughs> That'll so definitely help. It always I really helps. think that a lot of the season rides on Mark's shoulders. Um, he has all the supporting cast around him. Our run game um, is so strong, so Mark really just needs to take that next step. And um, I think the offseason, the lockout could have hurt a little bit, again, with pretty much a new receiving core for him um, that he hasn't had that time with. But he showed, you know, again, the other night against the Bengals, was a pretty good indication that, um, you know, he could, he could take that next step this year.